what is up what is up it's Kovian here and welcome back to the channel so today we will be reviewing our pve tier list it's a new year happy new year to everyone it's the first of january 2024 we've gotten four more units i think which we can add to the tier list and in addition there's some changes i want to make now the tier list beforehand i'll link in the description um the previous pve tier list um the categories were somewhat different what i mean by this is that this trash tier was not the last one and this niche tier did not exist so before this this i had a category at the end called not untested and then it was it was gods meta usable trash and untested at the end i have tested everything now so i i know what's what so i removed it and replaced it with niche because i realized there are some meta units that i put um that i would put in niche and there's some usable units that i would put in niche so let me explain the categories once again gods are the cream de la crop the best units for pve in this game sometimes they show up both in pve and pvp that's just how it is the meta are good options in pve you can choose them in multiple um pve scenarios and they will perform their kit is set up in a way that they will work in p in most pve encounters niche is that they're used in one or two pve encounters um for example like a unit only used in glasses right that's just one pvp mode and that unit is used in that one it's very good it's very good in glasses but the problem is it's just used in one in one thing so it's niche and then usable is i mean if you don't have the meta or any of the niche substitutes the ones here are usable they're not trash they're just usable and trash is absolute trash do not look in their direction do not even whiff take a whiff of their breath they're just you can't use these units just stop right there but with that being said guys before we get into the rearranging of this tier list please guys for me like the video subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell this lets me know that you enjoy the content that i bring and want to support the channel all right let's get into it so the tier list this is how i'm gonna do it so i put it in a way that it would have been the last time right so in in retrospect this tier should be clean i think i had done this that and that so the niche category should be clean so we're gonna start from the top down we're going to assess if the people put in gods are still viable for that rank or do they need to be pushed down or up right let's start in with valentine again valentine is usable from start of the game till the end game still a god in my opinion still very usable definitely definitely just a top tier unit um what about dolly now i've i thought a lot about dolly um though in the early game she is pretty good don't get me wrong dolly is very good but the problem with dolly is that she has been replaced by eternal and by extension tomorrow those are just better um better units than her and if better units than her exist i don't see a reason for her to be a god so i'm gonna bump her down into the meta category she's no longer part of the gods still very good but just because there's better units she gets bumped down marianne marianne is also in a particular case and this is just due to the fact that she was the only curse unit in which she was probably the best blue dps in my opinion in pve right like and then followed by laplace and rin she she was that chick in terms of dps she's still that chick and i think the fact that she does an aoe curse distinguishes her from this lady dracon dracon 
just deals a lot more damage than Merian. Don't get me wrong, but draw kind of single target. Merian is AoE and has like a defense break, so they can work together. They are not replacements of each other. Um, just to give you an example, no one is running both Eternal. No one is running both Eternal and Dolly. Like that's just insanity. But someone can run both of these, especially with the new hard content. So I think Merian is gonna stay. Drakan absolutely bonkers. Just probably the best PVE damage dealer. Period. <laughs> she's a, she's insane. Single target damage out of the gate. You know she cannot be countered or cannot trigger agile responses. And the curse damage that follows up is just absolutely bonkers. She melts most bosses. Drakan definitely still a god. Eternal goated speed down defense break decrease evasion it's it's just insane like if there's eternal she's gonna break your defense and everyone's gonna deal damage so she's still a god in my opinion <clears throat> noah start dash pick noah you'll use noah later on in pve you'll use noah later on in pvp she's just that chick since the beginning of the game the original god she used to stand alone on this mountain, <laughs> but people have caught up. So, yeah, definitely pretty good. Now, Cindy, I don't think Cindy is still that needed, right? I, I don't think. Like, it's like her buff extension is pretty good, but I'm not sure if it gives her God status, right? Cindy, again, just like Dolly, is pretty good. Pretty it's she's insane attack buff accuracy buff and buff extension but her kit feels like it misses something in pve right like it's you can't afford to have a support that doesn't like sort of heal or deal damage and she does neither she's just there for the support buffs and you don't find yourself using her in many places you do use her in many places so she's definitely not niche you use her in tower modes, you use her in Lysis, you use her in Mateos. I've seen people use her in Tyrant Toddler, like it's a lot. You use her in Story, it's, it's a lot of places where you use her. But thing is, at some point she drops off. I think I've played the game long enough, whereby I recognize that at some place, the buffs that she gives are just not good enough for god god status especially in pve in pvp that's still pretty good but in pve she kind of falls off so i'm gonna drop it just to be meta to that agile response push priority heal everyone it's still undefeated that best three on the s3 it's still undefeated it's just like who can dethrone to even after her nerf she's still kind of good so definitely still part of the guard tier units in this game for pve um she is she's literally just the best pve unit in the game i think right she doesn't deal that much damage she um she doesn't heal she doesn't but she does all of it it's, she's a stable dps like in tower mode she solos tower modes at some point so yeah i just damage stella like there should there should actually be a tier above here just, that just says damage stella that's how good she is in pve um everyone needs a stella in their life that's what i believe mayne um people are kind of confused so the nerf to mayne only applies to pvp so when you are in arena or rta this is when the um the resurrection and yeah the resurrection will, will will start at half of the a priority but in pve it just starts them where they were <laughs> it's still the same the changes were only in pvp so in pvp when i eventually do that tier she might move down or up a bit but but for now in pve she's still god status because nothing has changed um again single target damage out of the gate her uh, is just phenomenal her i'm gonna put her in niche it's gonna be our first niche candidate 
and it's the fact that she's just used in one place like i haven't found um a lot of places where you need that double aoe damage that she offers right if you go to tower she's just too squishy so she dies before she can do her double aoe in like um dungeon runs the poison the attack break is good but not in all of them she ends up just being used in glasses and it's that's just one or two places i'm sure you can find another one place where you can use her but that just sounds like a niche case to me you you do not use notia everywhere so i previously put her as a guard tier because i saw some people because it's like i looked at a kit and saw some people use it in uh, one or two content but it doesn't really reflect um the rest of her performance everywhere else so notia is gonna be the first one that get bumped down a lot to niche tier ouch i stay still the best healer right like if i were to uh judge pve healers i would say i stay Tio and then Mayne, right? Tio and Mayne is kind of um, debatable, but Asta is far beyond both of them. <laughs> like she, she's not in the same tier as them. Well, I mean, now she is, but she is, she's just far beyond them. Um, so we go to Tamara. Tamara, ah, uh, no. Tamara is still OP. Nothing has changed. She still applies to multiple content. Um, and she can carry from the early game right onto the late game. And then be able to be used in PvP as well. So this is a PvE god if I've ever seen one. Ame literally has a passive that makes it deal more damage to bosses. You see a boss, you bring Ame, it's happy days. Most bosses die. Chimera die. Tyrant Toddler die glasses die like if the boss is not fire it dies to army like that's what you need to know all water bosses light dark bosses like i just one shot them with army and air like the stage 10 bosses they keep taking out you know amadeus Ars Nova, calamari and uh sacred guardian the light dark bosses they'll just die to army and she carries as well i mean i don't use it much in towers but in guild rate Woo! damage carries so i may definitely still a god so yeah the gods category has gotten smaller i mean at the end there should be one guy so we'll see as time goes how everything matches up um dolly and cindy just went down so there's this is their permanent place for this tier list Rin, I think she's a solid blue DPS still. Uh, yeah, I think she's used in enough unit. Like, she's not niche like Naughty. I think she's used in enough places whereby I can put her in meta. So she stays there. Say Ren, um, she stays here. Definitely still a meta pick. If you need a healer, debuff, cleanser, she is your girl in most of these content. Rona, um, she, she's, I think she's niche dude are all these green units niche <laughs> it looks like it she offers defense break but it's like she does it she offers defense break where you can't bring eternal sometimes you might even force an eternal in there right so she ends up being useful in just glyces because glyces demands that you have a bunch of uh green units right not even good for terran toddler not even good um just never used her in any tower mode uh never used her in story i just like her buff was okay but i think it was meant more for pv pvp in terms of pve she still just deals very little damage and it's down to because she can't crit because her damage cannot crit she ends up being just a pretty bad damage dealer and acts as a support so yeah definitely not my first choice and she's niche most of the time what about beth um i think beth is used in enough places like she in terms of single target in pve she has like this hp scaling damage on her skill one and skill two it is glorious she does so much damage 
Like in terms of blue DPS, you will be hard pressed to find one that deals more damage than Beth. Right? Probably Marianne. Probably. But like outside of that, just there's no one else. She does more damage than Rin. So Beth, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put it up there. She, she's just that good. It's definitely staying in meta, not niche, used in multiple places. Where there's fire in blue units, you can chuck in Beth. Feynan, um, <clears throat> Feynan is power crept by Aste. So if there was no Aste, I would put Feynan there, right? But the same way Dolly is power crept by Eternal and and Tamara in a way, right? Feynan has received the same faith with Aste. So like she's a strong healer. If you don't have Aste, you can use Feynan. But if you have Asta, there's just no need. And then there's this one. Uh, this one I'm going to drop all the way to usable. Like, uh, like if you're hard pressed for DPS, I don't think she's niche. There's like no one place where she's very good in. But if you're hard pressed for like a green DPS, which is kind of hard to be because you have um army and noah the one of the best two two best dps's in the game you uh, it's kind of hard in pvp maybe she's niche but pve wise she's just standard usable like if you don't have any of those you can use her but uh and if you are very hard pressed for a green dps um this lady definitely not meta she's niche i'm gonna drop her to niche because she's only good in mateos her barrier and in guild raids i think yeah her barrier is pretty thick and helps you clear mateos very clinically outside of that um don't i don't use her much outside of that uh laplace 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 so I have Ur, I have Demis Drakan, I have Ame. <sighs> like in terms of damage, man, she's she's up there with them. She's the water version of Ur. Like she's the water version of all these single target nukas. But thing is, if you have fire in green, then you are just fine. Um. Oh, yeah. I realize why she's not a meta god. She's not a god and in the meta is because she's dependent on her damage is very variable because it depends on her teammates. Right? They have to bring a lot of debuffs and she scales with debuffs. She only brings one debuff with herself, which is kind of crazy. Like I would have wanted her to bring a lot more debuffs. Then she can deal her own damage. Right? Like Drakon. Drakon brings her own debuffs and scales with debuffs so it makes sense the damage that she deals uh laplace just she needs more debuffs devs if you're listening laplace could be a god but she's not because she needs more debuffs that's just it uh her veronica i think i underplay veronica like after i have played um a lot more of early game again right with my new account dude i think veronica is pretty good man <laughs> I, think, I think veronica is pretty good is she a good is she a god though i think she is just no one does what she does man like i think i was mistaken putting her in just meta i was mistaken the fact that we even get her like at five star or like close to six star just off the bat she, she just becomes such an asset yeah there are like many games in tower modes where i'm just like bro veronica saves me for that floor um tyron um mateos she goes hard in that one as well and anyway you need protection story mode she's just coded like for the story mode she makes it seem like a cakewalk so veronica definitely deserves an upgrade Demiage Aste. You know what? I'll admit it. I underestimated this toxic ass unit. What the fuck? 
Hey yo, the Regas does S plus tier every time, every way. Oh my god, I was smoking when I put in meta. Holy crap, this lady just deals so much damage everywhere. So damage Aztec definitely getting an upgrade. Um yeah, she's just that good. She's that lady. She's that girl. Uh party, I'm gonna put a niche. She's only good in Chimera. Alright. Everyone in niche is new, so we're gonna skip the niche group. And then we're gonna come to usable Akari. Underestimated yet. Yeah, definitely meta. Defense break and block debuffs. She's used in all in like I've used her in Chimera. So I went on a testing spree for Akari. And I found that she was phenomenal. <laughs> she moved like you build her fast and you keep the debuffs going. Sheesh! Like most of this content just gets melted. Thanks to Akari. Um, I definitely downplayed her. She was still kind of new back then. But for now, definitely a meta pick. I would use her every time. Vero, ah uh, yeah, I'll leave her there. Snow, I'll leave her there. Clear, I'm gonna put clear in meta. I think she's no longer part of the usable crew. She's just pretty good in so many places. Like for people who don't have competent healers and barriers, you know, can be used in Mateos, can be used in Chimera, can be used to climb the tower. It's like, you know, like there's these flaws that force you to pick two stars and down. She's a one star, but she works. She's a one star, but she works. Claire is just that good at you just need to get exclusive equipment and she goes brr. so yeah definitely pretty good ava i'm just gonna put it there eh, not really han Beauty, i've bro i've hardly used her. i think she's niche you can use her in some tower floors where you need to be tanky and that's about it her man she's like used nowhere flipping eh do they need to do something about bleed? They need to buff the bleed debuff. Um, I'm gonna put her in trash, man. I'm gonna demote her. She's just uh, not that good. No way. Maxwell, I'll say Maxwell is niche. Whenever you need um an AoE, you got Maxwell. She's he's good in guild raids. I've used her in some tower floors to buff damage us day or like an army so yeah you just had need his exclusive equipment and he he does deal the damage he comes with the damage he's an aoe on both first and third skill and the other one is a passive so maxwell definitely a niche pick nothing too strong leo i'll oh her her she's meta she's absolutely meta like after what i have seen what she can do with her revenge i didn't know she was a small damage stellar. i mean i guess i should have known because it's stellar damage stellar <laughs> problem is the asters do nothing i like right but then these ones with the revenge mechanic they, they just cleave through a lot of content so definitely good ones to pick um move from usable to meta yes i agree with this move um nah we don't need uh, this priority push is small i'll i'll keep her here up until her buff we'll see what the february tier list does for her but i'll keep her here until her buff right um her i'll say she's niche there's like niche and nah. she's not niche she's usable you can use her in most of these contents like she's a uh, plug and play but she's only a plug and play when you don't have the meta and the gods units so definitely not niche did i say usable for this one yeah i did k trash still trash she's still trash pesket trash she's trash i think her with her attack buff i'll 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 put her in usable she's just she's not trash I looked at a kid and looked at some applications. I think she can move up. Um, trash, trash, trash. Still, this one has a lot of priority pushes on herself, so she can be a competent single target damage dealer. But she just needs the stats. I think if they made a five star with a three star, like a legendary, 
with exactly her kit and increase some of the numbers on the damage she deals and the priority it's gonna be a toxic three star like holy shit but for now her numbers just seem low they're not good enough not good enough she's still trash naru kang still trash dude this unit it amazes me why it exists just give defense buff bruh she's the stun one ah uh, nah she's good in pvp retreat i'll say he is user she dude everyone's a she oh yeah boobs <laughs> she is usable um yeah i'll say retreat is usable um her barrier comes in clutch her damage reduction you know and she's a knight you can put her you can put her on more damage reduction stuff i'll say she's usable or bump her to usable uh dude gizman dude i hate this guy this guy looks usable but i haven't really tested him so i'll leave him in trash orox is trash tristy is still trash in pve do not use this unit and then she is also trash all right so don't mind this this was like a double like a double upload of eternal where do we put damage dracon this is where the new ones come not trash <laughs> we don't put her in trash we gotta put damage dracon in meta the buff worked well for her i would have put her in usable before her buff but now she's definitely meta um the damage reduction that she has just in total a better retry she does just a lot more damage just in total that s1 that hp scaling damage do not undermine it i used her in the recent raid and she dealt damage man she dealt damage i was proud and then she gives penetration to everyone if you get get an attack buff from someone and put a defense break on the enemy that she's dead that she's dead so increasing the penetration rate no one does that well i mean beth does it for herself right but she gives it to everyone else pretty unique definitely meta definitely not a god unit no dahlia are definitely a god unit man dahlia is so good i've been enjoying using her in tower mode um she made me beat the glasses 12 fucking finally uh tyrant total as well like just the stunning and she deals a lot of damage like people don't realize this i have her on a pve build that's not that fast it's fast but it's fast dps right it deals so much damage so dahlia definitely a god level unit and yeah no no one can tell me otherwise last time i had left her out i don't know why iris easy meta easy meta iris is like marion but marion is slightly better iris just deals so much damage if you don't have like an earth you can put an iris she's used in a lot more places than party right so anyway you need a fire dps she is second in line waiting to be picked if you don't have her right that's where she is and then epsilon uh pve wise absolute trash man <laughs> absolute in pve Dude, this is a pvp unit no way just, just absolute trash uh, i don't i don't condone the use of epsilon in pvp yeah I, I just don't in pve sorry i just i just don't um allow its use she is not good at all all right guys that is the tier list that is the tier list it's looking fine a bit top heavy still but it just showcases that in this game a lot of units are viable and you might have a unit that is in the niche category late game players can build those they probably don't need a tier list but if you're a new player just look at the meta units and the gods and then build those if you have those builds your account is what we call stacked it is a stacked account you are in the late game if you have every one of these build in like the gods category and the meta category bro you have a god account all right this has been Kovian. thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in february the end of february when i make an updated version 
of this PVE tier list. All right, get out of here, guys.